They barricaded themselves in to escape the enemy. The only way through is the hard way. Look at them, parading around like peacocks. These scoundrels, rotten to their very core. See how they proudly display their vices and shameful privileges. Tirelessly working to drag morality through the mud, trampling love itself. The Queen is said to have read your liaison before her husband banned it. It's hilarious, isn't it? I'm not surprised. No matter how hard I worked to denounce their immoral practices, the aristocrats saw my novel as nothing more than a light-hearted bit of fluff. How naive I was to imagine that my pen could slice away the gangrene of their debauchery. Well, fortunately, you have more than one string to your bow, mon capitaine.
Monsieur Marat. Huh? Hey? He goes there. Ah, oh. oh, la diable, c'est ma tante. So this is the famous Huntress Diana I've heard so much about. Truly, tis an honor, madame. Now let me have a look at you. Are oh, we? Oui. You're just as they described. An angel of death descended from the heavens to vanquish the clockwork tyrant. Who depicted me this way, monsieur? Mes compagnons, madame. Chief among them is Monsieur Chaudelot de la Clos. They have observed you dispensing justice all over the city. A most expeditious justice at that, as befits the crimes committed by our good king. Hmm. What a strange machine you are. Gifted with intelligence, clearly, but also with speech and the freedom to do as you please. Cependant, you are still an automat. Who is your master? It was on the Queen's orders that I came to Paris. The poor thing. To what new level of desperation has her husband's madness driven her? Does she finally intend to leave this kingdom, where she should never have set her dainty little feet? No, monsieur. She means to put an end to her husband's madness. <laughs> what? With you? You in what army? That's quite amusing, you must admit. And you, Monsieur Marat? Who is your master? I serve not a master, but a cause. That of the Duke d'Orléans. His cousin the king has no place on that throne, and nor does his wretched dynasty. The Bourbons, along with their wars, their crimes, and their vices, are finished. It's high time their scepter be passed to an enlightened, just monarch. One who is sympathetic to the people's sufferings. But now that I think about it, madame, look at us. We've been standing around chatting like old friends for several minutes, and I still don't know to what I owe the pleasure of your visit. I must go to the Bastille. Where Monsieur de Vaucanson is imprisoned. We, oui. Such a sad fate for a king's lackey. And what do you want with your creator? This man whose blood-stained hands built the army that's currently setting Paris ablaze. What Vaucanson has done, only Vaucanson can undo. Fair enough. Alas, while I come and go as I please through these tunnels, it is impossible to enter the fortress. Impossible, dites-vous. A sanguinary automat is spreading death and terror in the depths of this quarry. At the cost of their lives, my comrades were able to sabotage the floor of the cave to limit its movements. Nevertheless, it stands between you and the tunnel that leads to the Quartier du Temple. And that's the only way to reach the Bastille. And yet, that's exactly what I intend to do, Monsieur Marat. A votre guise. I shall not attempt to dissuade you. There is one small thing, though. I had to disable the mobile walkways to protect myself from the automats. But since you managed to come here, I assume you already know a lot about these devices. Indeed. Here. This would allow you to reach the lower tunnels. Have you fixed the walkway? I am working on it, Monsieur Marat. That's the only way to reach the lower tunnels. The mechanism is on this level, near the walkway. Who laid on this blood-stained mattress? Oh, it's a strange story. I suppose you heard about what happened in Place Dauphine? Indeed. I went there. Well, we took in one of the survivors of the massacre. The only survivor, it seems. Despite his serious injuries, he was particularly talkative. What did he tell you? He kept saying that Lafayette was a traitor in the King's pay. That the flaxen-haired hero had deliberately handed his brand new National Guard over to the Automats. What evidence did your guest have? Nothing substantial, unfortunately. It was based on a simple rumor that was circulating in the camp shortly before the Royal Army attacked. 
It would appear that several volunteers carried a yellow cartridge in their cartridge pouches. Most likely a subtle way for the conspirators to recognize each other. The subsequent disaster would tend to confirm this hypothesis. Uh, pa? These are suspicions. Nothing more. Right you are. Oh, if only I had proof of this conspiracy. Then I'd be able to scutter the ambitions of that cur Lafayette for good. The would-be dictator's plans would be foiled. I must get to the bottom of this urgently. Very well. I encourage you to do so. But remember that the Marquis could not have acted alone. If you can't find anything implicating him, look into the members of his staff. Start in Place Dauphine, where those brigands sullied the ground with their boots. Monsieur Marat, did you take part in an operation that aimed to kidnap the Dauphin and his sister Charlotte? Me? Take part in an operation? Nonsense. My only weapon is my pen, and I have sharpened it, believe you me. That said, we did receive some information concerning the children. Unfortunately, I'm sworn to secrecy. If such an operation did indeed take place, Monsieur de Leclos would have been the one behind it. Alas, I fear that he is no longer of this world. There is little doubt that he and his men fell in the galleries. Dites-moi, Monsieur Marat. What exactly are you doing hiding in a quarry? I've made a lot of enemies. In my publications, I have always denounced the corrupt and those who corrupt them. These vampires who cheat the weak and bleed the nation dry. Chief among them, that crook Lafayette, that Trent Sabre, a career soldier who thinks he's Caesar, not content to maintain an army of rats. This blondin has all the Chatelet's judges in his pocket. It seems my prose upset him as he swore to hunt me down. If I hadn't fled, I'd have been done for, there's no doubt about that. Who are your compagnons? Patriots who come and go in the quarries throughout the city, under the command of Monsieur Leclos. Alas, there are few left. And I wager that it won't be long before the machines that have taken over our hiding place find me. My hours are numbered. Mais vous même, have you found any companions for yourself? Members and supporters of the Third Estate have gathered at the Cordelier Convent. Would you be so kind as to name them? In addition to Monsieur de Robespierre, the Comte de Mirabeau is there. Le Flambeau de Provence. An artful chameleon who skillfully dons every color of the rainbow. The Marquis de Lafayette, Monsignor de... Say no more. They're just the privileged class celebrating the marriage of cowardice and treason. With adversaries like them, the king is sure to triumph. Who is Monsieur de Leclos? A brilliant writer whose pen has shaken the old world, but is also an experienced military engineer who has sworn his sword to our common cause, to his great misfortune, it would appear. There is little doubt that he died leading his men through the tunnels. Thanks to what I learned from Monsieur Marat, I will use the mobile walkway to reach the lower levels. Voila! That should have fixed the walkway. <laughs> 